Hello, so I'm going to show you how to do scanned documents and how to pull them into eVault cabinets. First I want to show you and I want to point out that there are two different main types of scanners. The first is a desktop scanner with a twain driver. The second is a network scanner. Uh, typically network scanners do not have twain drivers. If they do then they actually can interface directly with eVault cabinet but they have to have a twain driver. That's T-W-A-I-N as in Mark Twain. So if I've got a desktop scanner and I want to scan something directly into eFile cabinet, I just want to hit the scan button. We're then going to have the scanning eFile cabinet scanning interface come up and I can hit scan and scan my documents in. There's a couple of key features about this scanner, one of which is that I can scan documents and then add additional documents so I can scan these three pages, I can preview them, and then I can add additional documents in if I want to combine my pages into the same scan. So if I get to pull away to answer the phone or to work on another project, I can come back and combine these documents without additional PDF editing. The second key feature of the scanning interface is that I can scan numerous documents and come in and actually pick apart specific pages and tell it to store these pages separately. So if I store these three pages separately, they're going to store into their own document. I hit OK and I've got my pop-up box with eFile cabinet coming in. So I'm going to actually name this um, Scanned Documents Desktop Scanner. So I can store these documents, they're going to come in, they pull in as a PDF, I can view them right away. Back at my scanning interface, I can choose to go ahead and clear those pages and then can continue uh, pulling my pages into separate documents. As I'm going to show you in the next couple of steps, this is a huge time savings over what a network scanner will allow you to do. Desktop scanners can be as low cost and as cheap as less than $300, even color, dual-sided, grayscale, um, multi-function desktop scanners would, would not run you more than $300 for a nice quality scanner. The second way that I can scan is with a network scanner. Network scanners are not typically Twain compliant, and so network scanners do not allow the interfacing with other softwares. So typically if I have a scan come in from a network scanner, it deposits it on my desktop, my individual computer, under a file. Often it'll be in a downloads file, it'll be in a scanned folder, it'll be in some kind of identified folder. And then it's going to name this document a numeric name code, based usually on the date and time of my stamp of my scan. If I'm scanning multiple documents, I'm going to have similar naming codes of these numeric names. So uh, traditionally, if I'm going to save these, I would have to open these documents up, rename them, resave them, and save them to my Windows folder structure. However, with EFA cabinet, I can actually just bring these documents directly in and save numerous steps. So if I come over here, I go to my scan folders, and I want to pull out one of my documents. If I want to pull out, say, this document, I can actually um, come in. Let's see if I want to pull any others out. I can go in. I can tell it to open my document. It's going to bring up this document. I'm going to save this. I'm going to actually name this Scan Document Network Scanner Desktop. So this is my document that was dropped on my desktop and I'm going to store it in here. So I, I have this document coming in and being saved. The second way that a desktop scanner might deposit a document is through email. It might actually email me a document with a PDF attached to it. Now I can um, do a quick print or I can actually open up the document and view the PDF that is in here. So it, um, whether I do the quick print or I open it up, I'm just going to actually print this directly to eFAW cabinet. And what that's going to do is push this document over so that I can actually go in and name it and save it. 
once I send it over, it'll pop up the same save box that we've seen before. I can go into this uh, test drawer and I'm going to name this scan document printed from email just so that you can see the various ways that these scan documents can come in. So those are the ways that you can bring documents over, both from a desktop scanner and from a network scanner. As you can see that either way saves you multiple steps in being able to bring your documents over. And although the desktop scanner gives you the ability to merge documents before you save it, as well as split apart pages, rearrange your pages, delete, rotate, invert, anything you would need to do without actually accessing the use of a PDF editor. So I hope that was helpful. Have a great day.